Ernie 4.5 in 21 billion parameter is Baidu's latest lightweight reasoning model that packs some serious computational punch into a relatively compact package. It's a mixture of expert model which we are going to install locally in this video and we are going to test it out on various benchmarks. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. If this is the first time, please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member of the channel as that helps a lot. We have been covering Baidu's model for quite some time now. As you can see, we just covered their X1.1 model where we live streamed it. You can also watch that video as that is quite a good model. So I'm very excited to share with you this new model, which we would be installing with a new library, which is fast deploy and with pedal pedal GPU. I already have covered both of these tools, both from Baidu um, around a month or two ago, as you can see on the channel, have a look at them. I think they are a bit of an underrated packages, which are quite performant. I will be showing you every step hands on live in this video. So stay tuned. I'm going to use my Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card, NVIDIA RTX, uh, NVIDIA H100 with 80 GB of VRAM and I will show you how much VRAM it consumes. Let me start by creating a virtual environment with Konda and if you're looking to rent a GPU or VM on very affordable price, you can find the link to Master Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. So please do check them out. Now, while it creates that environment, let's talk slightly bit more about this mixture of expert architecture with 21 billion total parameters, but only activates 3 billion per token, making it quite efficient while maintaining strong performance. The thinking variant is specifically designed for complex reasoning tasks. Think of it as having an internal monologue that works through problems step by step before giving you an answer. It supports context length of around 128K, has built-in tool usage capabilities and uses a transformer architecture that's compatible with a lot of frameworks like VLLM and fast deploy. I'm going to use fast deploy because for VLLM, they still haven't um, <clears throat> finalized the tool parser support and also the reasoning parser. Uh, reasoning parser is used to process the model's internal thinking steps and tool parser is to handle function and tool calls that is not available for VLLM as of yet, but it is available for fast deploy. And that is what I'm going to use for this video. Okay, let's go back and our virtual environment is now created. Next step is to install some of the prerequisites. So I'm just going to first install pedal pedal uh, with GPU support. And again, as I said, if you don't know what pedal pedal is, just search my channel you should be able to find that pedal pedal and i'm just going to install it um, for one of the recent versions and while it installs it let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent. iGent is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application empowering you to build manage and deploy a custom ai workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks Pedal Pedal GPU is done. Now let's install the fast deploy. Again, this is going to take a bit of a time. And that is also installed. And you can also confirm the installation by simply running this command. This is going to tell you if fast deploy and pedal pedal are there. There you go. So pedal pedal is there and fast deploy is also there. Okay, so we are ready to download and do the inference with the model. And for that, I'm going to use this fast deploy engine. And there you can see that I'm just creating an open AI API compatible endpoint. We are getting that thinking model. And then we are simply specifying our tool, our thinking parser. And for thinking parser, it is using Baidu's own Ernie X1 parser which is quite good it seems same for the tool and then these are the maximum sequence steps and these are the endpoints 
and the first time when you run it it is going to start downloading the model so let's wait and the model is now downloaded and being served by fast deploy as the model is already loaded let's quickly check the vram consumption so it is consuming close to 71 gig of vram so make sure that you have that much if you are looking to run this model let's now do the inference on this endpoint and i'm going to use this script in order to talk to any model on this endpoint which is at localhost and as it is openai compatible so i'm just using the same chat completions api all i am doing here in the first testing is to just ask the model to write wahad mirza in chinese let me take you to my terminal and i'm going to run this let's wait for it to come back it's all running local descending the request on the local endpoint there you go so this is what it says that Fahad Mirza looks like in Chinese. I'm not sure if you're a Chinese speaker. Please let me know if that is correct or not. I will take your advice on that. Okay, now let's do some uh, proper inference with few of the tests. Okay, next up, I'm going to test out this coding question where I'm asking you to create me one self-contained HTML file. No external request that displays a real-time retro synth wave sunset clock and then there are a few features of it it should be one html file and then we will play it in the browser environment so let me run this and see what model produces here and there you go it has created the code the code looks really really good to me it is synth wave type thing and i'm just scrolling down i have also printed the token so it is around 51.3 token per second it is taking and this is where I have copied it. Let me drop it into the browser. So I'll just go here, drop it here. And there you go. Looks pretty cool. Not bad. You see? Wow. It is very impressive. What do you think? You see all of this, the shade, which is vertically coming from top to bottom. And then look at this and the clock definitely really good stuff by the way mo model is not multilingual just bilingual and we already tested it and how this is you know how it reflect did you see how it reflected it bounced back from the right it was very smooth and creamy really good stuff very impressive i think arnie has done quite well in this one as is the case with their previous models Okay, I'm just waiting for this 51 to complete the minute so that I just want to test if it turns 18 or not. If it's a real clock or not. It is a real clock. <laughs> okay, that's good. Let's uh, try out another one. I'm just going to close this. Let's go back. In the next test, I'm going to do a strategy test stress for the model. So this model is just going to devise the strategy for this newly appointed chief strategy officer of a mid-sized consumer electronics firm and i just wanted to do a lot of stuff around here because there have been recent shocks and the board has asked for 100 day turnaround plan so i already have run it it is running at the moment let's see how it goes i'm just going to wait for the response and it has returned us the response. You can see there is an executive summary and the language looks really fluent, very flowy, very, um, I would say corporate looking. It is talking about strategic pillars around supply chain, tariff and all that stuff. And again, go, no, go to see. And it's a whole plan which we asked it to do. 100 days one. Again, amazingly great response. And then the token per second is also quite good locally. So look, I think from the creative writing, from coding, and from step-by-step -step thinking, I think the model is quite good, very impressive, very happy with it, and the response of fast deploy and all that is also quite impressive. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel, please like the video, and more importantly, please consider becoming a member, as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.